Let me introduce you to my family. My wife, Kim, my 21-year-old son, Derek, my daughter, Ashlyn, my 17-year-old son, Kyle, and Ryan, my youngest. Hi, I've not grown up. You've not grown up? No. Do you have any intention of ever growing up? I don't know. You haven't decided yet? I thought he was just another grumpy teenager. I have four. At some point, he changed. Did you know the youth suicide rate for kids 10 to 17 and since 2011, it has jumped 141% where I live in Utah. So Ryan turned 14 on March 12th last year. <clears throat> Ryan texted all of us at 11.03. And then the last, I, I just was like, this is not right. And I went to the last word and I said goodbye. And at that moment, I was like, he killed himself. <laughs> Teenage angst can be so overwhelming, especially these days. But now we're getting a lot more kids calling, a lot more teens dealing with just feeling so overwhelmed. When you get into that dark place of just quiet, it's really easy to just play some games instead of talking to people about it because you feel ashamed. This is real. Like, I will just kill myself right now. Now you'll know that I was not lying. We would get these referrals of the highest need kids, so kids who had suicide attempts, kids who had psychiatric hospitalization. A lot of them are disconnected from their body, and that's a hallmark of early childhood trauma. So I open up the drawer and there's, there's two notes, and one says, username and password, check my phone. And the other one said, tell my story. <laughs> Ryan wanted people to know that just because someone looks happy, they might not be. Whether you're afraid of the answer or not, you do need to have the conversation.